Okay, okay, so my name's Corey Allen, and I was asked to go over face shapes and beards, the different types of beards that go along with the face shape. The most flattering face shape that everyone is looking for is the oval face shape. So we're going to try to figure out what beard we can put on each one of these to create an oval shape. Let's talk about Mr. Blockhead first. Mr. Blockhead is the square head. What kind of shape could we put on Mr. Squarehead to make him look more oval? Suggestion that I would make would be something to extend the chin or something to elongate the shape because he's very square and, and solid. We want to lengthen that shape. So my suggestion would be possibly a goatee. A goatee is anything that's on the chin. Like a billy goat has hair on his chin, a goatee has hair on the chin. Anytime you add a mustache to a goatee, that becomes a musketeer. Just different terminology, okay? Everybody thinks that's a goatee, but it's actually a musketeer. So anything that can lengthen the shape on Mr. Blockhead was going to help us out a lot. Maybe even some kind of faux hawk or something when it comes to his haircut. That way, when you create the total shape, it's more oval. Would we want to put any big, thick sideburns on Mr. Blockhead? No, absolutely not. If anything, you would want to do something very thin and fine and something that points inward. Thin and fine and points inward. That way it draws the eye in versus around. You see such a big square shape. What about Mr. Triangle Head? What could we put on him? My suggestion would be a round beard, like a Santa Claus beard, a big, healthy beard. Something that comes way down below his chin. The other thing that you could do is like the ZZ Top kind of thing where it's really, really long. And then towards the end, it's more tattered and shattered. Something of that nature. Again, you could do like a simple part with volume on the top to create more of an oval shape. Cool? The next one would be Mr. Ed Head. You know that real long face. Would you want to put anything on his chin? No, probably not. If anything, you're going to want to put something more across the side of his face to make it go from left to right. My suggestion would be, you know, like the big railroad guy mustache, you know, like you put you on the railroad tracks or something like that. You could even do, you know, something more like a handlebar mustache, something of that nature. But again, you don't want to get below the chin on him. And you don't want anything real tall with lots of volume on the top. My suggestion is, I would make sure that he had some sort of fringe uh, in the front, either like a real disconnected shape, something of that nature. That way it closes up the gap of his face and he doesn't have such a real long face. Lastly is the round face. Would you want to put anything out here on the sides? No, probably not. If anything, you might do, uh, you know, like they do the real thin jaw strap, something of this nature. Okay, you see a lot of more round face guys use a real thin, pencil thin type jaw strap. You know, as far as a mustache goes, you can do that, but you want to keep it thin. You don't want to make it real wide. Again, maybe like a pencil thin mustache or something of that nature. Sideburns are okay with him as long as they're not too thick. Big mutton chop sideburns on Mr. Triangle Head. Yeah, that works great. Okay, so everything is trying to become this oval face shape. We're talking about face shape and beards. My name is Corey Allen. I hope this helps you out a little bit. If I can ever assist you, please call me. My cell number is 918-381-3026, NV Salon.